Okay, well, following on from our RNS, our recent RNS um, that came out about the waste tip, um, we've started the waste tip sampling now. Um, as you see behind me, we're digging the first pit. It's a series of five pits. It's a follow-up from the, the exercise we did in, in uh, last year, in April last year. And we've identified a higher grade area on the pit, which we're now doing some backup sampling. Um, those, those initial grades came out at up to nine grams per tonne. Um, a couple of areas, about four and a half grams per tonne. Um, so what we're doing, we're screening out to about minus 20 millimetres and then we send that to the laboratory and they do a size fraction analysis on that. Um, and we found that the greatest gold deportment was in the, the minus um, two millimetre size fraction. The dump itself is probably about 20,000 tonnes in total, but the area with the most gold is probably less than that. But we will evaluate that as time goes on. We're screening the fines out, the minus 20 millimetre out. Uh, from that we take samples, 60 kilogram samples, and send that to the laboratory. But the balance of the fines we will retain now um, by, the, by the plant at the plant site. So when we do get decent values, hopefully from the, the laboratory, we then got there, we can put those fines through our, our plant. Just done a couple of test pans from the first pit, just there, um, from the fine material. And um, you might be able to see towards the top of the pan there, uh, two decent sized flakes. And actually we got uh, quite a bit of uh, colour in the pan in general. So that's a really promising sign um, for the, at this stage of the sampling. So um, roll on the next couple of pits and see if we can get some more. So once we've got the values back and we, we've deemed it's going to be um, economic to, to process through our plant, we will then uh, do a, uh, an application to NRW and SNPA, Snowdonia National Parks Authority, to be able to process the dump, the, the part of the dump that we, the, we wish to process. Um, we, already got permissions to do what we're doing now, once last year and again this year from NRW. And we've, we've really pretty thorough in terms of the ecology side of things. Earlier on this morning, we had a, a badger survey, we had a proper dog who sniffs out badgers. So, and we'll, we'll re rehabilitate all our pits very, very nicely. So we've, we've, we're very uh, thorough in what we've been doing in terms of the ecology side of things. Th this is the most substantial waste tip we've identified to date. Um, we were constantly on the lookout for other waste tips. Um, the beauty of this one is we know it comes out of an addit which has had a significant gold production in the past. This one we're confident that we, we already have found gold and we're confident that we're going to find a decent amount of gold, hopefully of economic proportions. It normally takes, by the time we ship the samples across, because they've got to go on a pallet, um, they've got to be dried, um, processed in the laboratory, it takes probably about three weeks before from sets, uh, sending the stuff from here. From, from Wales to, to Ireland, it takes about three weeks to get the, the, the values back. So the, the dewatering itself will take about two weeks to get, to get the shaft dewatered and deflooded and us to get down there. Um, we will then access the area at the bottom, make sure it's safe obviously, proper access controls. Um, we'll wash it all down, we'll geologically map it, we'll sample it. Um, there are many, many reports of visible gold on the pillars there. We'll find those, obviously, um, and we'll take bulk samples to prove everything up. And we've already got plans um, and mining layouts to go deeper um, to pursue that, that load, that load um, which we, early on last year and the year before from the drilling, we put, proved up that the load goes at least 120 metres below the, the bottom level. So there's a lot of potential there for us. So visible gold and a lot of, lot of potential resources for us.